The Palamuru Rangareddy project which is considered a remarkable feat in irrigation engineering is taking shape in the state of Telangana. The highlight of this project is the Narlapur pumping station which stands as a symbol of human ingenuity. Now, what makes this pumping station outstanding is its height and capacity. Can you believe that water from the Narlapur pumping station is pumped to a height beyond the full level of the prestigious Sri Sailam Reservoir? This is considered an achievement in the history of irrigation engineering in both the Telugu states. Yes, you heard us right. Megha Engineering and Infrastructure Limited is executing this prestigious project. The journey of water begins from an approach channel leading to the Narlapur pumping station. Here, water will be pumped with immense force, making its way to the Anjanagiri Reservoir. The project involves setting up eight pumping stations, each with 145 megawatt power output, a feature not found anywhere else in the world. The sheer scale of these pumps is astounding, with each bolt weighing around 12 kg and the total weight of the pump assembly is around 240 tons. One of these stations is already in operation, while the second one is in the final stages of preparation. The height of Sri Silent Reservoir is around 300 meters and can store up to a maximum of 270 meters. Coming to the Narlapur pumping station, it can pump a maximum of 345 meters to Anjanagiri, that is, it can lift 75 meters higher even when the Sri Silent Reservoir is completely full. The entire reservoir is 15 meters higher than the spillway bridge. It is the first time in the Krishna River Basin that a reservoir has been constructed at such a height. Though similar feats were accomplished in the Godavari catchment area, this is a groundbreaking achievement in the Krishna Basin. When there is an average water level of 269 meters in the Sri Silam Reservoir, the water reaches the tunnel from the approach channel and from there the water goes to the pumping station. The length of the tunnel at Narlapur is 2.66 km and 75 cubics of water is released from each machine. Together, 675 cubics of water will be released through 9 machines with a standby machine as support. In the same Gayatri pumping station in the Kalishwaram project, a total of 624 cubics of water is released from 7 machines at the rate of 89 cubics per machine. At the Narlapur pumping station, the static head representing the height of the water taken into the pump before being released by the motor is 124 meters in height. This is a record in itself as the highest static head so far is at Kaleshwaram Sky 3 pumping station which is at 113 meters. On the whole, the Narlapur pumping station is a symbol of not just its height, it also marks a historic record in pumping water to staggering heights in the Krishna Basin.